Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. The last episode, we played 1980s mode. We killed all 10 rivals. I actually was pleasantly surprised with this update. It was really fun. I like the style. I like the aesthetic of it. And then at the very end, when you're judged by how you played the game, I really enjoyed that too. I mentioned something in the previous video though about a rival that I ended up throwing off the roof. I found out how exactly we're supposed to eliminate her. I said I was gonna do it in this episode. Also, I didn't do certain eliminations with a few rivals that I wanted to do in this episode. Plus, we didn't even meet the Yakuza in this episode. We're about to do that right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go! What are you talking to me for? <laughs> Trust me, I'm not the kind of guy you wanna get involved with. If you spend too much time around me, you're gonna get hurt. I'm not just saying that, you know. I'm serious. I pissed off some pretty nasty guys. That's right. And every day, they wait outside the school gate for me to show up so they can beat me senseless. If they see me and you together, they'll think you're my girl. And if they get the impression that you're important to me, they'll probably try to rough you up. Or worse. So just stay away from me. Got it? Togo Atatsuma is being antagonized by a local gang. Talk to him outside the school gates after 3.30 to defeat his enemies in a brawl. Will you accept this task? You bet your sweet ass I'll accept this task. <laughs> what? Are you insane? You think you could take them on? We're talking about a gang here. You wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> your funeral. I'll be waiting at the school gate at 3.30. Yandere Dev, I know you're watching this, and we gotta talk about this speeding up time stuff. I'm playing on the computer, so check this out. If I do this, and I speed up time, I'm holding down the E key and I'm running, but if I run past somebody, I automatically talk to them. Well, aside from her pushing me, look, if I run, and then I go near somebody, I'm gonna talk to them. Oh, now I'm not gonna talk to anybody? Okay. All right, but anyway, it's after class. The guy is waiting for me, so, oh, we're just gonna go there. there and we're just gonna are. whoop some ass. Right on schedule. You better leave before- Hey, you're not actually gonna try to fight them, are ya? They'll kick your ass. <sighs> no turning back now. Here they come. I'll kick my own ass before I let somebody else kick my ass. These guys are gonna kick my ass? These after school special looking ass dudes? Alright, come on now. Come on now, turn me up! Turn me up one time! Oh yeah. You like that roll, right? You like that Maki roll? You know what I do on some Danganronpa shit? Oh, roll, roll, roll! How do I roll again? Ease roll. Okay, I got you. I got you. Ooh, roll into that. Let's go, boy. Oh, yeah! Ultimate assassin? You know what I do? You know what I do? What the heck? I can't stop rolling now. Okay. Do that. Heavy kick. You know, on some Chun-Li type shit. This guy got a baseball bat, and he's still getting his ass whooped. How sad is that? Bro, that's the saddest shit that i ever seen. What is this, the notebook? Because I'm crying by how sad this shit is. Let's go, boy. Oh, uh, some Titanic type shit. This shit is sad. What am I even talking about? I don't know, but I'm just whooping ass. I'm whooping your koozie ass. Oh, uh, whooping your koozie ass. Oh, 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 oh. They don't even feel the hits, my dog. Do you feel the hits? Bro, I got more hits than Michael Jackson. What are you talking about? All right, there we go. You already know what I do. Come on, everybody. Did you think that they were even going to touch me? I've, I've never seen anything like that before. You're not human. Yeah, I'm a sicko. <laughs> After today. I definitely won't have to worry about those guys anymore. If Wouldn't they just recover in, and then whoop your ass the next day? They probably would have killed me. I... <laughs> I owe you my life. That's what I would do if there's I was a no rival gang I member. I never pay you back for what you just did. But... There's someone else who might be able to. My brother. He's got... Connections. You know that street with all the stores? At night, you can find my brother there. In an alleyway. I'll tell him to hook you up with whatever you want. After that, we'll be square. Alright? And hey, thanks again. I can't believe this man said, you know the street with all the stores? Like, there's only one street with one store in the history of anything. Anyway, we just got done doing that guy's task. We're gonna talk to his brother and say that his younger brother is such a little bitch that he can't fight his own battles. And then that guy's gonna hook us up. And then we're gonna be able to take out a rival using that Yakuza member. Oh, and somebody in the last episode was talking to me. They were like, we are alike. We have the same skills. Some shit like that. So I gotta figure out what that was about. But let's talk to our boy right here, the Yakuza. I'm not going to give you my name. And you're not going to give me yours. All right. The less we know about each other, the better. Okay. As soon as we're done here, you're going to forget my face and forget that this conversation ever happened. Got it? Who said that? 
Understood. My I don't even know who's talking right now. That he could never repay. I'm grateful that you pulled his ass out of the fire, but that doesn't make us friends. The less debts a man owes, the better. And I don't want my brother to owe anything to anyone. So I'm here to make things square between you and him. This is strictly business. So let's get to the chase. Sure. I brought some things with me that you might be interested in. Hurry up and pick the one that you want. I like this man's voice. It's super bassy. Holy shit, this screen is badass. This reminds me of Persona 5. What the hell? Okay, so we get a free lockpick, free fake ID, narcotics, lethal poison, or explosive? Who the hell are we gonna explode? What the hell are you talking about? Bro, I need a fake ID. I need an ID that's faker than my dad's tits, but I also want an explosive. Kinda wanna blow some shit up. But lethal put man, they all look good. These all look fine as hell. Okay, um, should I do fake ID? Nah, that's lame. I'm gonna do explosive. There, you got what you wanted. With this, my brother's debt is cleared. Do we have an understanding? Wait, you why did I do good. explosive? And if you're smart, this will be the last time you even talk to someone like me. Just one thing about my brother. I want you to... Never mind. Forget I said anything. What? You want to what? Hold on, I'm talking I'd to you again. To work with you again. I thought I'd made myself clear. I only owed you one favor, and we're square now. I'm not here to ask for a favor. I'd like to pay for your services. Yeah, buddy. You shouldn't get involved with people like me. I already am. <laughs> if you're actually serious about this, you're gonna need some pretty deep pockets. You'd be surprised. We'll see about You'd that. You'd be surprised by how broke it's I am. I know how much money you have, Ryoba. No, the prices are not up for negotiation. She got 10 bucks in her wallet. She needs to stop playing. Okay, abduction. What if I want you to make someone disappear? You serious? Not what I was expecting to hear. You do know what you're asking for, right? This isn't exactly something you can undo. From the look on your face, I can tell that you're not joking. I'm going to warn you that what you're asking for is pretty expensive. With that out of the way, let's talk business. Give me a name and a face. Okay, so this is so freaking cool. Yandere Dev, this is badass as fuck. Okay, so we can abduct Kaguya Wakaizumi, or we can do it to any of the other people. So, how much does it cost? That's what you want. Oh, it costs a thousand buckaroos. Change I told you, she only got ten bucks. Like, Ryoba's playing like she got more than ten bucks in her wallet. What's I'd Ransom? like to propose a business deal. Better not be a waste of my time. I go to an elite school. My classmates belong to rich families. Families who wouldn't have a problem paying Ransom money. I'm listening. If I kidnap a student from a rich family and bring them to you, would you pay me for them? Oh, that's interesting. Didn't see that one coming. Do you even realize what you're saying? Do you have any idea how risky that would be? No. If you could actually pull it off, hmm, it certainly would be lucrative. <sighs> I don't know why I'm sticking my neck out like this, but all right, I'm in. I am really liking this right now. I am really, really enjoying this right now. So it says normally the Yakuza will pay you 1,000 to provide him with a kidnapped student. However, the Yakuza will pay more than 1,000 for the students below. Okay, this is actually sick and twisted, but shit, look at all the money. Look at all the freaking money that you can get from these people. So come back when you have a prisoner in your basement. Okay, so I don't have any prisoners, obviously. Let's see contraband. Oh, this is it. The lock, pick, fake ID, narcotics, lethal poison, explosive. Okay, so what I'm going to do, everybody, I'm going to go to the cafe that's just right here, and I'm going to make some money, but somebody was talking to me the other day. Like, somebody was saying something weird. Was it you? Huh? Was it you, pigtails? That's not pigtails, right? I don't know. I'm not really good with hairstyles. Like, I don't even know what that is. Like, you got pigtails too, right? No, that's a bun. That's a bun, son. Okay, I'm going to go in the maid cafe. I'm really gonna try my hardest to make over a thousand bucks and we're gonna make our first rival disappear. I like this soundtrack in the town. It's actually pretty cool. So when somebody was talking to me, remember when someone was like, we're alike? I was in the hair salon. Just getting my hair done. But I guess nobody's gonna talk to me. So I'm oh, here we go. See, it happened again. Oh, I see. 
you and I. We're alike. We have the same hobby, the same talents. It's nice to meet a kindred spirit. We should swap tips. I've been at this for a while. I'm sure my advice could be of use to you. Okay, so this person at the hair salon is now selling me the benefits of manga, cauterizing wounds, hiding bodies, distractions, notes in lockers, student personas, cleaning weapons, emergency showers, raincoat advice, school atmosphere. Okay, let's see um distractions. I'll jot some tips in your notepad. Oh, so this is the person who's talking to me like that. What the fuck? Yo, that is insane. Okay, this lady's a sicko. What the fuck? What did she write down in my notebook? Hold on, I can't even check it in town. Anyway, the reason why I came here is because I need to go to the maid cafe, but I can't go during the day, so... Alright, everybody, so check this out. I only made $394 because I suck at that maid cafe minigame. I feel like I just can't remember the orders of the people, and they all get frustrated, and they hate me, and then that makes me hate myself. But what I'm gonna do, since I'm at the second rival already, I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna eliminate her with the barrel and just her liking fire, I guess? I don't know. I don't know who likes fire, but apparently she does. So we're gonna make sure it backfires on her, just like Ryoba said. Because I know a lot of people in the comments were telling me, Oh, Jay, they're giving you hints whenever they say what the rival is into, and that's how you eliminate them. I know. I know. I, I just didn't want to say anything because I was like, you know, it's pretty obvious that they're giving you hints in the beginning. So I got to do something with this. I think I got to switch the watering can and the gasoline has got to like pour on herself or something like that. In the last episode, when I went to go get the rat poison, I saw a jerry can in here. So I believe that we got to get that, right? Yep, jerry can. Okay. Oh shit, not the axe. Wait, is there anything else in here that I could use? I mean, let me just yoink the rat poison just cause. I mean, you always got to have the rat poison handy, am I right? Let me see if this shit works because this is the only thing I can think of. There we go, fill with gasoline. Okay, so we filled that up. I didn't even know gasoline. Oh, yeah, because she tries to put out the fire by acting like she wasn't the one that started it. But if we put gasoline in there, it's just going to make the fire blow even harder. So let's just pass time, wait for her to come here, and let's just see what happens. Get that ass over there. Look, we got some dude. We got the hand on the chin fuck boy. Yup, that's him. That's definitely him. Okay, maybe he can be the one to make her put the gasoline on top of the fire. Because, you know, when somebody's watching her, she kind of gets freaked out and she's like, Oh my god, uh, who did this fire right here? <laughs> totally irresponsible. Oh my god. Okay, so let me speed up time. There we go. And this guy is very observant. Hee <laughs> hee, it's always just a spell binding as the first time. Well, too bad it's going to be your last time. Wait, guy! Chin guy! Hold on, look at this shit! Look at this! Yeah, buddy! Hey, look! My dude! My dude, your dream girl! Your dream girl is lit! Oh my god. Okay, so that's how we do it. We just had to put gasoline inside of that little bucket, because fuck it. And then she just lights herself on fire. So technically, we didn't even do anything to her. She did it her damn self. So we're obviously going to get away with murder with that one. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Moeko Rakuyona. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. And the police question all the students in the school, including Ryoba, but they can't find anything. The police leave. Senpai is deeply saddened, blah, blah, blah. Now we got to make some money because to eliminate, not the third rival. The third rival, I actually know how to eliminate her. But I got to go to the maid cafe because we got to make $1,000 because I'm going to eliminate one of the rivals using the Yakuza. All right, so now we're on the third rival. I know exactly how we're going to eliminate her. I need to go to the library real quick and move those bookcases around because I'm pretty sure that we got to crush her because Ryoba at the beginning of the week, she said, that her books will crush her or some shit like that you know one of those puns check out book finished homework assignment what i thought the homework assignment thing was here do assignment interesting anyway let's pull this bookcase she pulls that shit with ease ryoba's way stronger than she looks and then push bookcase over so i'm assuming that she's gonna be right here and then we just gotta do a little crushy crushy a little eliminatey eliminatey i don't even know what the hell i'm talking about i took an energy drink before i started recording right now so if i say anything and i start acting up hey you can blame it on that and if you saw the last episode which you should have because i go through all the rivals in one video it said something in her backpack about an evil photographer check this out if you read the diary at the bottom it says evil photographer that's actually about the last rival because there's no such thing as the evil photographer with these rivals. So that's why I got confused. 
and I immediately sent her to her locker when I should have just followed her because I'm pretty sure she goes to the library, like straight to the library. Wait a minute, this girl's not going over to the book. What the heck? Oh, yeah, she is. Okay, I was wondering why the hell she wasn't doing anything. Oh, she's checking out a book here. Okay, so we just pushed the bookcase over and somebody's watching? What the hell? Wait, was I supposed to move it before? Hold on. Nah, 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 nah. That ain't right. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so May Mio heard a giggle. So she goes behind here every once in a while, but there's some people that are just twirling like idiots and reading books, but they're on the same page in like 12 minutes. So fuck, how am I gonna do this? I gotta get these girls away, huh? I could tell them to go away. But that means I need to increase my reputation, and my reputation sucks balls. Oh, I know how to get these girls away. This shit's gonna be easy. Okay, let me talk to you. Let me do the task. Even though you're in the library, I will do your assignments. Wait, how come I can't do your assignment? Oh my god. There you go. Okay, so I can only do one task per person. So I'm gonna do your task now. And then once we do all the tasks, we can make them go away. So do the assignment, and then get you to go, um, what? Hold on, love? What do you mean love? Go away. I want you to go away. Just get out of here. Just get out of the library. All right, so we're going to tell her to go away. And everybody's gone. So nobody's looking. So once she goes back over, it's game time. So let me fast forward time a little bit. Because we need her to go over to the book. Oh, what the heck? This freaking guy, man. Why is his hand always on his damn chin? No, I'm not talking to you. I'm trying to fast forward time. Damn it. Oh, this freaking guy. He came at the wrong time. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> he saw it, and he saw that we didn't even do anything. We were just standing in here. We were just standing here, menacingly. Okay, so that's what it looks like, though. You push over the bookcase, and she dies instantly. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Honami Hodoshima. The police are unable to look at any murder weapons. And they question everybody in the school. Senpai is really sad about it, but we really don't give a- Turn me up. Can somebody please turn me up? Because I can't even hear myself. Turn me up! Soup, eggs, potato. Soup, eggs, potato. Soup, eggs, potato. Soup, eggs, potato. Okay, so it's the fourth rival. It's the one who's an athlete and only eats healthy, so we have to poison the bento. Instead of doing that, I want the Yakuza to make her disappear. We got $1,000, and I already racked that up by doing oh, the maid cafe stuff. So... Um, I think what abduction, if I right? Want you to make there you someone go. Disappear. You serious? Not what I was expecting to hear. Can we skip this? From the look on with I like the guy's voice way. though. It's like let's super bassy. Business. But yeah, give me a name let's make a Sumiko disappear. Do you want Sumiko to disappear forever? It'll cost four thousand. Oh my God. God! Are you freaking kidding me? Four thousand? After I just got done trying to make a thousand? Are you serious? That's oh, that's want. a slap in the face, bro. That's a kick in the dick. All right, so we got the rich girl from the rich family. Um, we do the ransom, and you currently have a prisoner in the basement. So we are going to get the $6,000. There you go. And then abduction, right? So I want you, because I got 7000 Do I want to make her disappear forever? Yes. This girl will be abducted before school tomorrow. Her name is written on it. That's all the info I need. By the end of the day, your problem will be gone. I'll have to make this quick. I could get in trouble just for being here. There's an unspoken rule to stay out of this territory. Whose territory? If you're lucky, you'll never find out. That guy's voice is dope. I will say that. But that is extremely messed up. And I'm glad that this is just a video game because that's fucked up. But we eliminated that rival. So what do we do? Do we just go to sleep? Do the police come? Like, do they report her missing or something? I don't know. Wait a minute, it says, It is 6 p.m. on Friday. Ryoba's rival asked Senpai to meet her under the cherry tree behind the school? Wait a minute, I didn't even see the rival at school, so how did that happen? Alright, so I had to restart the game from the very beginning. I had to go back all the way to week one and go all the way to the week four rival. I decided that I'm gonna update the game to the latest build, which is what it is right now. I am going to eliminate the fourth rival the same exact way. So what let's do abduction with that and way. let's get let's down to business. business. Give me a name and a face. Okay, so this girl will be abducted before school Here's tomorrow. A photo. Her name is written on it. That's all the info I need. By the end of the day, your problem will be gone. I'll have to make this quick. I could get in trouble just for being here. There's an 
unspoken rule to stay out of this territory. Whose territory? Okay, so I just wanted to make sure I heard what I heard and he said what he said. So I'm going to go to school the next day. I'm not going to skip anything. I'm just going to make sure that we just do everything like we're supposed to do. So we're going to sleep and I'm not going to edit this part out because I want you all to see it without anything skipping. So it's Tuesday the 25th. So hopefully we can do what we need to do. I am not going to restart this again. If this shit does not work, I am ending the video. And that's that. Watch this. Come on, please, please. Nobody's here, right? Nope. Okay, well, the girl's not here. Don't see any red. Just like it did last time. So hopefully the Yakuza did their job. Okay, so I went home and it says Ryoba's ready to leave school and she's just watching Senpai. There's nothing about the rival. So I'm gonna go back to town and let's see what they say about that shit. Because for some reason, it's not saying anything about the girl being abducted or anything. If this man just took my money and ran, I don't even know what to say. Okay, so she's already out the picture. Because, you know, it doesn't say that we need to pay anything. So that means she's gone. Okay, so that means the rival must be eliminated. If she's not, I'm going to be very upset. Oh, thank God. Okay, so the rival did get abducted. And we eliminated her with the Yakuza method. So I actually know exactly what I need to do with this one. Because I was re-watching the footage as I was editing the video. And I was like, why don't I just do the tranquilizer on her? And why don't I just make everybody go away the way that I did with the girls in the library? So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to bring the lockpick to school. And we are gonna get the sedative. We're gonna put it inside of her bento. She's gonna take a little nappy. We're gonna tell everybody that's at the pool to take a hike. And we're gonna get this shit started. The reason why I even have the lockpick in the first place is because when I restarted the game, the free item that I wanted from the Yakuza, I picked lockpick. So let's use that. Open this, take a little bit of that. Okay, so let's go to bento and then put sedative in bento. Hopefully this works because sometimes when I put the sedatives in the bento, they go straight to the nurse's office and just sleep in one of the beds like shit's really sweet. Okay, so now it's lunchtime. Our rival is currently eating the bento that we spiked with the sedative. So let's see where she goes. If she doesn't go to the nurse's office, then that is a huge dub. Okay, she's starting to get a headache. She's starting to feel the sedative. It's one of those instant sedatives, you know? One of them NyQuil shits. Okay, I think she's going to the freaking nurse. Damn it, she went right to the nurse. Okay, so I actually don't know what to do. Wait, she's actually sleeping right now. It's 4.02 after school on a Monday, and she's a little sleepy ass. So all I gotta do is get everybody to go away. So we're gonna ask for a favor. Um, go away. Wait, why won't she go away? I want you to go away. Please go away. Or do I have to ask you to distract somebody? Okay. Let's just ask them to distract people. Just get them all out of here. So basically what you gotta do, guys, you just gotta befriend them. That's all you gotta do. That's how you make people do what you want them to do. So let's get you to distract blue-haired fuckboy. What about you? Who are you gonna distract? You are gonna distract, um... Uh, God. I don't know. Fujio? Whoever the fuck that is. And you... You got the most important job of them all. You got to distract Juchiro. Whoever the fuck that is. Okay, and then you... Um, you distract... Uh, 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 Bonri. Yeah, buddy. Wait, what are you doing? Why aren't you distracting anybody? All right, so everybody's out of here. So we are going to push her. Come on, push, push, push. Push in the water. There you go. And we push the chair too. I don't know how she doesn't come up for water. I mean air. She's not a fish. She doesn't come up for water. I don't know how she doesn't come up for air. That shit doesn't even make any sense. But yeah, everybody, that pool elimination is a little ridiculous. It's so ridiculous that it's goddamn ridiculous. But we're going to get out of here. Our hands are clean. Our hands are free of guilt. Well, I mean, I don't know if she's feeling guilty. Judging by that look on her face, I'm pretty sure she doesn't feel any guilt. But let's just go home. There's a corpse. And let's see what the police say. The police arrive at school. And they find the corpse of Ritsuko. And they can't find any murder weapons. They question everybody. Senpai's sad. And let's move on to the next one. So with the next rival, you've all seen this one. All we gotta do is that one. Toggle the electricity. We're in for a shockingly good time. And next rival. Okay, so for this next rival, in the last video, I actually tried to get her suspended by putting the alcohol in her bag and just snitching on her. But that didn't seem to work because it kept freezing up my game. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the Yakuza because we're homies now. We're gonna get some contraband. We're gonna get some narcotics. Would you like to purchase some? Yes, for a thousand. God ah, damn, we got ripped off. But anyway, 
We bought some of that. We're going to slip that into her bag, report her to the teacher, and it should be a one and done. That's what it said in Yandere Dev's blog. So if we one and done that, then that means we eliminate the rival pretty quick. I just want to see what happens with the matchmaking one and the next rival. So we're going to report narcotics. Are you serious? Illegal narcotics? If this is true, she'll be expelled immediately, and the police will be informed. During class, the guidance counselor enters the classroom and says that she needs to speak with your rival. I can't believe you actually brought illegal narcotics to school with you. How did you even get a hold of something like this? Wait, I'm being framed. You've got to believe me. All right, there you go. One and done scenario. No, please, don't call the police. I'm begging you. Rival. Arrested. Okay, I was wondering when it was going to show up. Please, please just fade to black. Yes! Thank you! Okay, so we got rid of the rival. I am so freaking happy. Let's go to the next one. The one that's like a movie star and we got a matchmaker. I got to talk to all these dudes. I got to see who's the one that's in love. Is anybody in love? Come on, somebody please be in love. Yeah, this dude has hearts on top of his head. So I can talk to him about love. Oh my God. Wait, you love her, right? Tell me you love her. Do you have a crush on this student? Oh, you can tell? Yes, I have a crush on her. Okay. Well, I can help you. I'll give you advice. She, uh, what? The heck? Okay, so I need to show off his courage, but it says your suitor's courage is level zero. This will not impress your rival. To increase the suitor's courage, lead him to the haunted painting in the third floor art room. Oh, so this is the haunted painting. What's so haunted about this painting? No, 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 no. You're gonna come with me. You're gonna come with me. Come on. Follow me, my dude. Follow me, my guy. Come on. Let's look at that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the boy stands in front of a painting that is rumored to be haunted until he is no longer afraid of it. As a result, his courage stat increases. I can't believe this. I can't believe this mother sucker, bro. Hold on. We got to look at it again. Oh, you already did that today? Shit. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to give you advice. So she likes dudes who have ponytails. She likes people that have piercings. Where's piercing? Okay, piercings and then shades. What else? Tan their skin. Um, dark hair. Oh, she doesn't like dark hair. Okay, so ponytail, piercing, shades, tan skin. She likes that. This is what she's attracted to. So that's what she's into. I see. Oh, there he is. What the fuck? Okay, um, I'm gonna give you advice, my dude. Uh, you need to speak positively about justice. And then... Um, she don't like a cult and let's just say you look nice today show off your courage and give a bracelet someone wants to meet you at the East Fountain okay I'll go there right now all right there she's gonna go right now what about you my guy I need you to go there too I need you to go to the court she's at the East Fountain go there and use the advice I gave you oh really I'll head over right away then this better work oh my god this better work pretend you're not eavesdropping even though you totally are I don't even know if this shit's working. Please be working. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, this 1989 shit. And then everybody's watching. Oh, this is awkward. Don't get stage fright. You got this, dude. You got this, my guy. Look at that. They're cheering him on. They're like, yeah, do it for the fireman. Do it for the fireman. This is so freaking random. <laughs> oh my god. Please be working. Um, was this just a prank? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Was this just a prank? This shit ain't a prank. Hold up. Hold on. I got to give you advice, my guy. Because uh, that shit ain't working. So maybe I'll give her a ring? This just a prank. Wait, what the hell is happening? Why does he keep saying that? Hold on, my guy. My guy. We got to do some things. We got to make some shit happen. This shit's ridiculous. Oh, I didn't put jewelry as one of the things. Fuck. Okay, that's what I didn't do. Damn. Is this shit glitched? Why is she just standing there like that and he just like looking at her all weird? I don't get what's happening. I'm almost at the very end of the week. So before I get a game over, I got to get rid of her. So I'm going to do it the J way. Yeah, I tried everybody. I tried to match make. I tried to be the matchmaker. I promise you guys all saw that. Now I just got to choke her out because that's the J way. So yeah, let's slow-mo that. And then I already got my trash bags handy because you already know what I'm going to do with this thing. So let's conceal. And then, um, nope, no, 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 no. Pick this up. And hopefully nobody sees me. Let me see. 
Oh, somebody's outside. Okay. Um, I don't think that they're gonna notice me with this. I think. Well, she didn't notice me. So let's just keep going here. Oh, we got that girl. Fook. Fook, we got that girl. Hold on, she's not gonna see anything. Yeah, see? See? Wait, why is this shit? Oh, I thought it was locked. Okay, we're dumping that in there. And then let me just get the baseball bat just in case. This dude's right at the dumpster. What the hell? Okay, uh, let me apologize to these fools. Yeah, I tried to match make them as best as I could, but she would never turn around and look at him. So I was like, all right, if you're not going to turn around and look at him, then you're not going to see me when I put that baseball bat around your throat. So this is the last rival. Out. You guys have already seen this one. This is the one where I go to the asylum and I burn the bag. So let's just see what score the judge gives us. Kaguya drowned to death. As far as anyone knows, she just mysteriously vanished one day. Moeko was burned to death. Her death is considered to be an accident. Honami was crushed to death. Her death is considered to be an accident. Sumiko was kidnapped. As far as anyone knows, she just mysteriously vanished one day. Ritsuko drowned to death. Her death is considered to be an accident. Ai was electrocuted to death. Her death is considered to be an accident. Taiko was bullied until she withdrew from Academy. Ryoba's involvement is not suspected. Komako was arrested by the police. She is currently in jail. Chigusa was killed with a weapon. As far as anyone knows, she just mysteriously vanished one day. Sonoko made friends with Ryoba. She testified in court that Ryoba is a good person and would never commit murder. After Sumide's disappearance, the police were called to Academia a total of four times. The police discovered a total of four corpses at Academy. Ryoba made 17 friends at Academy. Ryoba's reputation at school is zero. Damn, I got no bad or positive reputation. Ryoba's classmates witnessed her doing something sus four times. Ryoba's classmates witnessed her carrying a dangerous weapon around school zero times. Ryoba's classmates witnessed her walking around in bloodstained clothing three times. When the fuck did that happen? One student testified that they witnessed Ryoba commit murder but had no evidence. Taking that all of make the facts sense. into consideration, it is clear beyond any shadow of a doubt that Ryoba Aishi is responsible for at least one disappearance oh over God. the past 11 weeks. Whatever, bro. What did we get? What grade did I get? We got an F! An F! Hey, I just wanted to show you all what the other eliminations look like, like the crushing with the bookcase, the drowning. I tried to show the matchmaking one, but for some reason, they just wouldn't talk to each other. She kept facing the other way, or the other guy kept saying, was this just a prank, my bros? But I can S-rank this, obviously. You all know that. Come on, stop playing with me. I also want to show the Yakuza in this episode, and that's exactly what we did. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this episode of Yandere Simulator. If you want me to play this some more and try to find new things that we haven't discovered, yet make sure you give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that jay from the cub scouts is that dude <laughs>